Hello and welcome to another edition of Badminton Unlimited, an exclusive sit-down with women's doubles world champions Chen Ching Chen and Jie Yifan from China. And we test them out against each other. <laughs> we look forward to the next stop on the HSBC BWF World Tour, New Delhi. And India's top women's singles player, Prasala V. Sindhu, recalls her famous win at Siri Fort last year. The Daihatsu Indonesia Masters 2018 came to a thrilling end when the country's top men's doubles act, Marcus Fernaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukamoljo, grabbed the final title on the last day of the tournament. In the final, the world number ones were up against China's Li Junhui and Liu Yujun. They had sensationally beaten world champions Liu Zhang and Jiang Nan in the semi-finals. Despite the noisy home support, Li and Liu were unfazed as they easily grabbed the first game. Gideon and Super Mojo responded quickly in the second, racing to an 18-8 lead before a controversial umpire's call threatened to derail their focus. It definitely touched his racket, and the umpire hasn't spotted it and has given the point to the Chinese pair. But the Indonesians regrouped and soon recovered to level the match. Buoyed by the vociferous crowd, Gideon and Sukumojo entertained their fans with smash after smash to open their title account in the HSBC BWF World Tour. Uh, it's so important for our confidence because uh, it's the first tournament of the year and it playing in Indonesia, that's why I'm very excited to play here. There were celebrations for the red and white earlier in the day when Anthony Ginting captured the men's singles crown. His opponent, Kazumasa Sakai, struggled to contain the speed of the Indonesian's game as he also crumbled under his own errors. But that didn't take anything away from Ginting's brilliance throughout the match. The young star is proving to be one of the sport's rising sensations, showcasing his talent with a delightful array of shots to land his first Super 500 crown. But it wasn't all good news for the hosts. Olympic and world champions Sontari Ahmad and Liliana Natsia couldn't live up to their billing as top seeds when they went down in straight games to China's Zheng Si Wei and Wang Ya Chong. The Indonesians struggled to get any momentum going, as Zheng's power from the backcourt and Wang's nifty net play caused them all kinds of problems. The match was over in just 33 minutes. Such was the domination of the Chinese. Uh,非常的投入,没有说被他们主场的观众,呃,那种换呼声给,呃,分散出一力,我觉得今天我们这个做得非常好,然后还有就是我们在,呃,战术上可能比他们完成的更好,就是针对他们的打法,可能他们并
and delighted the crowd with many trick shots. Her Indian opponent, meanwhile, just couldn't find her feet as she surrendered the crown after just 27 minutes of play. This time she converts. 21-9, 21-13. Beaten finalist a week ago at the Malaysian Masters. This week, the champion here in Jakarta. Chinese women's doubles world champions Chen Ching Chen and Jia Yifan are an interesting pair, who've worked hard to get to the very top of their sport. It's a journey that began when they were very young. Mo 我觉得首先是我们的教练吧我们的目标是尤伯杯有没有想过要一直打羽毛球嗯说实话也不行<笑><笑> <笑>我是比较喜欢就是韩流的一些东西 Instagram粉丝要比中国微博上的粉丝要多很多很多。我关注迷人，迷人也关注我的李克勤。他会唱，他会唱。啊，Yes，没有麦克。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑
Both women have 13 BWF Tour titles since 2014. What do they really know about each other? We put them to the test.你不喜欢的我最喜欢的我一个星期都要吃我从小到大吃不是要写下来三个字哦我提醒你你不喜欢吃的快餐这么多笔画我操这么多笔什么我最喜欢你每周都要吃沙拉我说我最喜欢吃
It's gone long. Game. And this time, the former World First Junior game, Champions convert. Ten. Yeah, that's good play from Takahashi. It is. Going on the outer side of uh, Jaifa. Eight. Oh, yes, well worked. It was too short, the um, lift from Ayaka uh, Takahashi. The Chinese coach, and now Pointing. I know where Chen Ching Chen has points. it from. 17. Oh, that. How on earth did she get that back? Play. Game. And they've done it. The youngest ever women of a Super Series Finals title. A year ago, they were winning the World Junior Championships. Here they are this year, having won their maiden Super Series title in Paris. They finished the year by winning the biggest tournament of them all at Super Series levels. The Super Series Finals, 21-15, 31-21. 21-17 in the deciding game. They embrace the coach. The celebrations can begin. The HSBC BWF World Tour heads to India next. With the capital city of New Delhi set to host the Yonex Sunrise Dr. Akhilesh Dasgupta India Open from the 30th of January. In 90 seconds, here's all you need to know. 2018 will be the 11th straight year that the India Open has featured in the BWF calendar. In 2011, the tournament was upgraded to the Super Series level and ever since has been held at the Siri Fort Sports Complex in New Delhi. The most successful nation at the event has been China, with 11 gold medals in total. But they have never won the men's singles discipline. The host nation has won five golds over the last decade and will be looking to improve that number in 2018 with 85 local players having already made the main draw. In men's singles, Indian hotshot Srikant Kidambi will lead the field with Chinese Taipei's number one, Zhou Ten Chen, rising stars Shi Yuqi and HS Pranoy and the always dangerous Wang Zhu Wei, also from Chinese Taipei, rounding out the top five. The mixed doubles lineup is equally spectacular. The 2016 Olympic gold medalists Tontawi Ahmad and Liliana Natsia from Indonesia are the top seeds, while Malaysia are represented by two teams seeded in the top five. Multiple title winning duo Tan Kian Meng and Lai Pei Jing, and Southeast Asian Games silver medalists Go Soon Huat and Chevon Jamie Lai. Completing the top five seeds are the imposing Danish pair of Matthias Christensen and Christina Pedersen and 2016 World Junior Champions Heiji Ting and Du Yue from China. With a winner's check of 26,250 US dollars in the singles and 27,650 in the doubles, along with 9,200 ranking points, there's plenty at stake for all players. Kusala Venkata Sindhu will return to Siri Fort on the 31st of January to defend her women's singles crown. 
Also coming back to fight for the prize is arch-rival Carolina Marin from Spain. Both have been involved in some epic battles in the past, including last year's Yonex Sunrise India Open final, where Pusala famously triumphed in front of home fans, exacting revenge for the 2016 Olympics defeat. And now the final that so many home fans wanted to see. The reigning world and Olympic champion, Carolina Marin, Pusala Venkata Sindhu, two-time world championship bronze medalist, Olympic silver medalist, and a mega star here in her home country. I think for everybody it was another uh, Olympic match I feel because everybody wanted to see that match uh, very much and also it was in the home ground and I wanted to especially win uh, you know, at the home ground. And then pulled out of the final. And this is the first final which she has contested since the Olympic Games. Of course, that Olympic final was an absolute thriller. And uh, I think the crowd really supported me and it was fantastic in Delhi there. Um, because, you know, I didn't expect that, but people, everybody was expecting, okay, fine, you know, Sindhu and Carolina, the rivalry is there from since Olympics, so... Short left. Oh, it's unbelievable! Well, Marin did amazingly well. Closes out the opening game against the Olympic champion. It's well taken. That was a very important point for Sindhu. Huge psychological difference between 16 13, or had she not won that rally? 18 15. Converted. The Olympic champion is beaten by the Olympic silver medalist on home soil. Well, home advantage is well recognised in sport, and I'm sure the home fans have played their part in Pulsala's victory here today. That was something different, and winning that match really gave me a lot of confidence, and that too at the home courts. This only the 11th time in the 11th year of the Super Series that all five titles have gone to players from five different nations. What have your favourite players been up to on social media? Let's check it out. That's it for now. But we're back again next week to recap the biggest moments from the Yonex Sunrise Dr. Akhilesh Dasgupta India Open. 
And we hear from the uber-talented mixed doubles pair, Tontawi Ahmad and Liliana Natsia of Indonesia. In the meantime, remember, you can log on to bwfworldtour.com for all the latest news on the HSBC BWF World Tour.